Good. Have a good day. You're dismissed. Goodbye. H O L C O M B. In the mind of the tyrant, they got to criminalize the behavior. See, there's another one. Look at it, there's another one. So we got about a hundred thousand dollars worth of salaries here for a constitutionally protected activity. Oh, she left it open. Oh, that's 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 just she's lucky. She's lucky. The lean screen wasn't on. Nope, lean screen's not on, so they're in compliance. Oh, look at that, accredited agency. That's what we wanna see. Not that dumb blue line flag all those pignoramuses use. What's your name, sir? I don't answer questions. I think y'all know me though. No, I'm well known in the state, so um, all law enforcement knows me. I'm the only one to hold y'all accountable. Me and my little 10 subscribers. <laughs> Sarcasm. See, he's over there trying to criminalize. Look at that. See how they make their phone calls? See, that's called deprivation of rights. 241, conspiring to demonize and criminalize our journalists while he's engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. See, they these are all constitutional officers, but they don't give a damn about it. They really don't. We see more bad cops than we do good. Even if they do pass, it doesn't matter. Look at the phone call he's making. You see, the phone call he's making is just ridiculous. He shouldn't have to make a phone call. He should say, look, this guy's in a public space recording. We're Turner versus Driver, Smith versus Cummings, all that other good stuff. Okay, sir. Um, like you're okay with doing what you're doing. It's a public area. You can access it. You can record, play through, do whatever you need to do. Um, just don't try to go in the building. That's it. Okay? And just try not to harass the people inside the building. Why are you talking to me like that? What's that? Why are you putting presumptions on me and giving me directives? I'm just letting you know. Did I commit a crime? No. Oh, okay. No. So why would you give me a directive? I can't I'm your you. boss. Don't you know that? I can't inform you. Sir. I can't tell you what's going on. Sir, I'm, with all due respect, I am the steward, you are the tool, okay. okay? And where my authority ends and your authority begins is when y'all see me commit a crime. Sure. See, people of color constantly get stereotyped by the same type of police cops blaming. Sure. And then people like me that are weak, you know, that you could flick, you know, that'll fall over, they exploit their supremacy on all the time. What we want to do is change that policing. We want you guys to follow your oath. And right now, you guys should have just got in your cars and not said a word. Well, Educated them like you were talking to me. You're not supposed to advise me of nothing. I can speak to you as much as I want. No, I don't want, I, I don't want, I don't want to. That's where you fail. That's where you fail. No, it's not. I told you I don't answer questions. I don't want to talk. You sure say a lot right now. Okay. I know. You're not, you're not detained. You're free to go. I, you I know that. I don't. I don't need you to tell me that either. Okay, then what? Kick rocks. Go on. I'm, there ain't no crime here. We you're stay, dismissed. We can stay here too, man. I know. We're that that's called your ego. We're, now, we're you see this? Do not do that. Do not do that. Listen, Just leave. We're conducting an investigation. Just leave. <laughs> now he's going to the textbook. 
We're going to do an investigation. Guess what? The federal judge already heard what you said. Sir, you are not. You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to do that. But just don't in case, just don't do the See, You have already informed the public that you know that I haven't done nothing wrong. I'm not even suspicious. I don't even fit the criteria for suspicious anymore. It is strange behavior. It doesn't matter. I think it's strange behavior that you guys are wearing costumes. Them were clown suits to me. Honestly. And I'm not, I'm not even anti-cop. I'm anti-bad cop. I don't answer questions. Okay. All right. We'll see you later. All right. Kick rocks. Have a good day. That's not disrespect. This is this is called you guys. I'm talking to you now. This is called me calling him out on criminalizing my behavior. Trying to. He made a phone call. They got educated. As usual, they should already have First Amendment training. The the bootlickers inside, they should have already had this training. I did the one over there on Romulus. They made asses out of themselves. I could have sued them, but I don't because I'm stealing off myself. That's not what I want to get done. Bootlicker. Cop collar. <laughs> Harass. Oh, they did get one thing right. They got the American flag on there. See, now they're going to doctor up something else. Watch what they do. Watch what they do. This is called... Attempted cop syndrome. What they do is they go in and they stand in there, explain a little more, and say, Yeah, he's out there being in a nuisance, doing this, doing that, when they shouldn't have been called to begin with. <clears throat> to all state and county employees, the government sent a memorandum stating that we may appear odd and suspicious behavior to leave us alone. That's what it tells us. Leave us alone. If they do something wrong, then call the law. But if they ain't doing nothing wrong and they are like just speaking to you and talking or saying or whatever, it may be in a nuisance that you would def define as in a nuisance. That is behavior that's none of your business you're on the clock and you need to go home. You need to go home. You need to leave. You guys were on your way home. Go home. Be with your families. Jesus Christ. Uh, and I'm going to explain to these guys what harassment really is. In the state of Michigan, under the MCL harassment, you look under C and look at the last line, except where they are engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. My God, you guys don't know nothing. It takes a barber two years to be a, a stylist, but it takes a cop six months. Now, we're going to train you. No, 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 no. No, hail to the hail, no. Hey, look, they got they got one thing right. Look. See that? They got the American flag right. That's it. Well, you think I'm not going to break their balls? Giving me directives? What's he drinking? He's jamming. How many miles has they got on it? Woohoo!
this vehicle was paid for with forfeiture funds. Extortion. So this paid for this vehicle was paid for with extortion money. <laughs> Boy, they tell on themselves all the time, don't they? So I wonder if they actually have a have to have a two-year degree. An associates. I'll have to look that up online. Because I'm not dogging Wayne police officers. I really ain't. They are to me. You know how I feel about police guys. They are important. They are our first responders. It's just that when they come like this and they can't back down because of what I said, I did provoke them a little bit. I provoked them by asserting my Fifth Amendment right, my Sixth Amendment right, and my First Amendment right. There's several of the, those attributes inside the First Amendment to elicit behavior that is in a person. They use those tactics all the time. See, what's good for the goose is not good for the gander in their Bible. You know, they're they're in a police culture where they are narcissistic and they become oppressors at times. Now, if I didn't have this camera, where do you think I'd be right now? They would have tried to detain me. They would have tried to put me in the back all because I didn't have a camera. Now that I have a camera, they can't do that. They won't do that. Man, these people are some butthurt ass people, man. They think I'm rude. Because I told the truth. I'm rude. They're still in their cops playing. Oh my God, what are we going to do? 45 frames a second. It's a freaking med weapon of mass destruction. Watch out. Ah! Help! We need $115,000 worth of salaries out here to help us and calm us down oh my god i'm so butthurt oh, hey i got some preparation h for you if you need it i'm here for you i mean See, I disturbed him from being down there. He didn't even respond. What he doesn't know is I have him down there at the corner blocking a sidewalk, MCL 257674AB. Well, and he's down, he's down there freaking blocking a fucking sidewalk while trying to pull people over, which is the same people that called him. If they was to go down there and do like five over, he would have gave them a ticket. And yet they're over there licking his boots. Bootlickers. <laughs> uh that, that 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 black girl right there, the the window cleaners over there, if you guys remember, said that she didn't even work here, guys. What is she doing in there? Oh, yeah, that's the double standard. Man, it took everything you guys had to do that, isn't it? You guys, hey, go back to your post down there and stop blocking that sidewalk. You're breaking MCL 257-674 while blocking an approach. You understand that? You're not allowed to block a sidewalk. You're not a block, you're allowed to block a, 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 a crosswalk. Yeah, you're being redressed. That's why I'm coming at you the way I am. I already got you on video down there doing that. Shame on you. You shouldn't be doing that. You're, you know, just because 
your 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 lieutenants and captains and sergeants, all of them, all those people above you, tell you that you can excel doing that, and it's just bullshit. All you're doing is harassing the public, and then when we give a little back to you, you don't like it. Look up prior restraint. I'm not going to give them a pass. I usually do, but I'm not. Because I seen him breaking the law down here. And that, that means they uphold that shit. They need to be they need they need the police better. They could do a better job. And they know it. So what? We're all human. There's always room for improvement. You guys just happen to take an oath not to violate nobody's rights. Oh, yeah, by the way. I know you can hear me. So the next time you give somebody a directive, I, I have this to say to you. Don't run with scissors, don't eat yellow snow, and don't fuck your partner's wife. They got something up their sleeve, guys. They got something up their sleeve. What do they got up their sleeve? What are they doing? What are they doing? Are they trying to are they trying to criminalize my my constitutionally protected activity? Is this called 241 and an 83 where they're conspiring against my rights? You know what I mean? This is literally a huddle. <laughs> he said, he said, Wolvie's going to steal a catalytic converter. And I'm holding the camera with one hand and I'm missing another. So how am I going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. That's called criminalizing me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I gotta do. I gotta do a First Amendment audit on their police department when they're not expecting it. Oh yeah, they got. They gotta have it done. To sit here and to patronize this this rhetoric is ridiculous. <laughs> see, they just happen to get a real journalist that has real credentials that actually is not one of these morons that goes around and provokes police. Actually, what I'm doing is testing their, their mannerisms because I didn't like the mannerism of him sitting there breaking MCL 257-674, blocking a sidewalk, blocking a street, and blocking a crosswalk while sitting there trying to give CIs. He's breaking three CIs. So in 603, MC, M, MCL 257-603, it says they, in subsection 5, it tells them they can only do that, sit with their lights off when the emergency calls for it. So if you're sitting there in a marked police car, it tells you that you have to have your lights turned on while breaking the law. So everybody will know that that is the exemption that gives it to you. Yeah, that's the three-year degree coming out of me, ladies and gentlemen. Versus your six months. I don't know. You might have an associate. They say they're an accredited agency. We'll see. Do you know what building this is, sir? I don't answer questions. You want me to tell you? Nope. Do you care? I don't answer questions. Any of them? 
I don't answer questions. If I choose to, I might. Well, you want to choose to answer that one? I'll, I'll tell you what it is. You, so yeah, you you're, 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 you're a free-thinking American. You can say anything you want to. Okay. Just know that the word free, yeah. remember that. What's the engineering office got to do with free? <laughs> Who pays you? Taxpayer. Thank you. What's that got to do? I'm not saying no more. Hey, you might give me your name and badge number for the record. Yeah, it's Officer here. I'm my badge number. I'll give you a card. He's going to give me a card. You want to articulate that for me? What's that? Your name right. and your badge. Because I, I might, I might butcher it. I might call it something else. It's a Polish name. It's hard to pronounce. I yeah, but I don't have a left hand. And what am I holding? You See, don't? that is the kind of common sense we're talking about here. Okay. They know I'm missing a left hand, but he wants to freaking be an ableist about it. Look that word up. Do you, do you want the card or no? Just give me your name. I don't need your card because I can't put it in my hand. Okay. All right. And I, I can't read your name. I'm Officer Grabowski. Badge number? Triple one. How hard was that? See, that's why you need work. That's why you need guys out here like me. Ma'am, yours? Awesome. From badge three, four, four. That wasn't hard at all. And see, because I'm a private citizen, what am I? I have amenity because I don't what? I don't, I'm not committing a crime. And I'm a steward, just like you are. But yeah. only when you get off work. Yeah. Only when but you I get mean, off is there, work. Is there something I can help you with? I mean, do you need a permit or something? No. no. Do you have an engineering issue? No. I'll answer some questions for you today. No. Because I'm going to see where you go with it. Nope. Anywhere without trying to help you. Okay. I don't need help. Okay. Okay. You don't need any help? Nope. Just, I'll, I don't, I, I just want to make sure you know what this building Go read the Constitution for Dummies. Literally, that's what it's called. The Constitution for Dummies. It's inside every library across the United States. If you love your country, you will take this a nuisance that you are articulating in your head and disseminating to other people what's going on inside that building, get them all freaking riled up for what? A one-armed guy with the back of his head blown out that's well known, that's in every fusion center in the world for doing what I'm doing? Give me a break. That's ridiculous, man. Think about what you're doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing because I ain't did nothing. I didn't do a damn thing. We're just wasting all this money for what? I'm going to show the public how much money we're wasting right here. When all you guys had to do is just get the, and buckle and bounce. Buckle and bounce, man. What's your YouTube channel? I don't have one. I deleted it. What do you put on now? Nothing. I'm lying. At least I'm transparent. <laughs> I don't want to be here no more than you do. Honestly, I'm being honest with you. What are you doing here? I gotta stay. Why? Because you guys need to learn how to back down and you need to know your place in society. We're not doing anything. Yeah, you are. You're wasting money. You, you could be calling. Here. Look, I have something in my ear that has already heard three domestics in your city. Why ain't you there? What? Why ain't you there? Come on, man. Go. We didn't get dispatched okay. You guys, I'll put it up later. It's actually been a pretty nice day. You know, when they first called him, the police department, that's right across the street, yeah. and you was like, what? Maybe five streets down, sitting there, I already, I already peeped out everything. You're sitting there blocking that sidewalk. Why would you block the sidewalk? When you were sitting here uh, monitoring traffic. I'm not sure what you're talking about. All right, I'll, it'll show you. I'll show you later. And hey, I'll send it to your uh, PIO. I'll send this whole video to your PIO so they can educate you guys. I'm going to send it to my email. I, I Put, it the Put it out there. Put it out there. I tried to give you a card. But I can't handle it. I'm not going to let go of my camera. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? I'm just like, I'm just you know, I'm trying to help. That's not helping. Here, put it out there again. What's that? Let the camera get it. What is it? Your card, so I could see your email and I'll send a copy to it. No, that's all right. Okay, so you didn't want it. Okay, I got you. See, he's just being a smart ass.
He ain't trying to help me. Police are not your friends. Record them. They are tyrannical tyrants and they will do everything they can to criminalize an activity that is constitutionally protected. But if you look under harassment, you use the word harassment. Let me redress you on that. Redress is the First Amendment. You are absolutely in error and you're in color of law by saying it. You defined what I was doing, harassing or maybe harassing or don't harass. What would you call it? it at the end of that C, subsection C, look at the last line. It says the exemption is a constitutionally protected activity. Did I say you committed a crime? No. Okay. But you were presuming I mean, you to harass. You said don't harass. You said don't harass. You were giving me a directive. Why in the Sam hell would you give me a directive at all? It's none of your business what I'm doing. You're not feelings enforcement, you're law enforcement. Kick rocks, get out of here, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. Usually I'm the good guy in this. I'm not anti-cop, I'm anti-bad cop. I'm not trying to make you guys look like buttholes, but you already did it. I already got you down the street. You, sir, are a tyrant. And you don't even know it. What am I doing? You're a polite one, though. <laughs> you can look every word I set up, and you will fit that. The only one here that may have an excuse is her. Because she hasn't questioned me. She hasn't asked me what I was doing. She didn't say shit. And as a matter of fact, she said hello. She said, hey, what's up? Uh, you what? did. But she wasn't getting all in my business. Oh, yeah. So I I'll give her her props. Like, hey, oh, by the way, that you guys, don't forget the one employee that got out of the red truck. We need to find out who he is and give him a thumbs up for minding his own business. Time to go bye-bye. I can't do anything, man. I just can't do it. I tried every which way, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't, just can't do it. on the door handle by chance? <laughs> I don't answer questions. Is it only You guys got a camera, don't you? Go look it up and see what time it was. See if it was during business hours. Boy, they're really trying. You hear that? They're saying that I pulled on a door handle while holding a camera and I don't have a left hand. <laughs> That's called gaslighting. You see? You hear it? You hear the gaslighting now? This is definitely a tyrant. This guy in the blue coat, he's definitely a tyrant. He should not be working. He shouldn't be in a position he's in. He shouldn't. I am the last person in the world I might be a little annoying, but everything I said was right and true and honest. You need to feel protected. Cop collar, do you need do you need do you need their protection? The guy you could flick that'll fall down. Do you really need do you really need their protection? See how honest I am? You could flick me and I'll fall. My God, you are looking like a big ass coward right now. You definitely don't deserve the position. I will be FOIA requesting everything on you. I'm going after you. You're dangerous. He was pulling on the doors. He was pulling on the doors, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Help. Help, police. We got a fat guy that can walk a three quarters of a mile an hour that's missing a left hand that wouldn't hurt a fly.
Oh my God. 45 frames a second, a weapon of mass destruction. Ah! <laughs> Kick rocks. Do the drive of shame. Bye bye. Tell your commanders I'll see them soon. <laughs> see the locked doors? See. Between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., where there is no signage on that door, I could go pull on that door as much as I want to. As a matter of fact, I could do it right now. But I'm not going to. I'm not trying to provoke them to wrath. I'm trying to get them to realize that through their own attitudes and me being a little annoying, they might get an education today and actually do what that one guy did and go back to fucking work or go home. Yeah, let's, what he, let's hear what he has to say. Let's be transparent. Isn't that what we're about? Nice flag. What are you gonna do, man? Just hang out and tell people? Look at that ego. Man. So are you sure I can't help you with anything? I don't answer questions. Quit gaslighting me. The recursive tactics you're using. Stop it. You work for me. De-escalate and go home. Now I'm being serious. I don't answer questions. Well, you got a car here on your neck. Where's your car? What kind of car is that? Honey business. Quit gaslighting me. I don't even know what that is. You want me to troll you? I don't even know what that is. Well, because you're trolling me. You're gaslighting me. You're trying to, you're going fishing. Stop it. Stop going fishing. Did I ask you who you were? Do I keep trying to identify you? I'm going to identify you through another process. Kim Worthy is on my side. You have no clue who you're fucking with. And by the way, fuck is a word that's used in the English vocabulary and has been deemed by the Supreme Court just regular, good old, free American speech. So I could tell you to fuck off anytime I want. You, on the other hand, have a freaking bargaining agreement that's connected to what? A code of conduct that you signed with me. I'm a Wayne County person. I, can't, I, I pay Wayne County taxes. Well, I no, pay I them. You are, know. you are employed by me, my family, and the rest of society. I don't even know who you are. So it doesn't matter saying. who I am. I have complete amenity. I'm a private person in public recording. Read up on it. You're being educated right now. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. But I don't know if you're a citizen because I don't know where you live. Wham. Well, now he's a xenophobic. Damn, keep it going. If I was a woman, would you be making gestures? If I was a woman, would you delegitimize me there too? Pretty soon you're gonna, you, are, you, you guys already went to my handicap. I already got you on film. So, I mean, you might as well be all you could be. Let all that hate out. Let it all out. I'm here for you. I got some butt hurt cream in the Toyota. Toyota? Where's your Toyota? Watch it. Wasn't that nice?
Stay away from my car, dude. That Toyota's yours? You said you didn't have a car. <laughs> she looks like she's getting bored. She's like, damn, man. Why don't this guy just, like, get rid of his erection and just go home already? I just read her facial expressions, and I'll use that as my thumbnail. Don't, trip. don't eat yellow snow, and don't fuck your neighbor's wife. I just don't want you to trip. I just don't want you to be immoral. Immoral? Why don't you want to tell me who you are? He's falling for her. So we're here about almost 35 minutes with two police officers that are still hanging out because this guy feels insecure. Maybe he took, I don't know, he might have took some freaking Viagra and he, he can't get rid of it. So, you know, he's got to get it all out. Let that hate out, homie. just feels better just to let it out, don't it? Just tell me what you really think. Tell me what's really on your mind. I mean, since you wanted to go there and all. That would be the right thing to do. Yep. Now, he's de-escalating. That is called the walk of shame, y'all. It's called the walk of shame. Couldn't get our public servants to hurt me. Did his best, didn't he? Tried. He tried. He failed. As they do the drive of shame. Guy's an asshole. He's such an nuisance. I can flick him in a fog. He's such a piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit, guys. I'm telling you, man, these, the law didn't say that I would have beat this guy down. Who does he think he is? Oh, wait a minute. It's a county vehicle.
<sighs> Such a circus. It's a circus, guys. It's a circus, guys. Him butt hurt. Him need some butt hurt cream. You need some butt hurt cream, homie? I got some butt hurt cream in the car. <laughs> mm, there's my buddy. I told him I got some preparation H in the car. I ain't even trying to be disrespectful. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch this. All right, I'm ready to leave now. Can you move out of my way so I can leave? You can't block my ingress or degress. You're holding me hostage if I do. I will hit your car if you don't move it. You gonna move? You gonna move? I need to get out. I need to get out. I don't give a damn. Get the fuck out of the way before I make you. Because now you are committing a crime. You're holding me hostage, you can't do that. Move! Move! <laughs> I had to get him one last time. <laughs>